Welcome to the forest. And something a little bit different in this vlog, but we've actually come to Zip World over in Wales to come and ride this. A one kilometre long alpine coaster. And I'm here with the one and only Martin. Hello. Charlotte. How are we doing, everybody? Hello. And also Leah as well. You've not met Leah before. This is Martin's yeah. other half. And you're going to see Leah a lot on the big road trip we're yeah, doing later the in the year. So, so but, yeah, uh, get used to her. Yeah, we've uh, had about a three hour ride down here in the car, all the way from Staffordshire to come and ride this, the Alpine Coaster. I mean, look at this. This looks really, really cool. I mean, it's got a station building down the bottom here. It opened in May this year. Uh, it's the first of its kind here in the UK. Now, I do remember doing something similar to this in Stoke-on-Trent at Waterworld. No, just opposite Waterworld. There's like a ski centre just there, like dry slopes. And they used to have a small one of these. And I remember doing it as a kid. And ever since that, I've always wanted to go out to Europe and do uh, some of the ones there is out there. They look great. But of course, we come here to Wales to come and give this one a go. It does look fantastic. Look at this. All the way up the lift hill just there. Obviously, you've got the station building down here. You can tell it's brand new. This looks absolutely awesome. I can't wait to get on. This looks a lot better than I was expecting. Really? Yeah. yeah I, was, I wasn't really expecting it to look this good. To Obviously, be brakes are optional on the Alpine coasters as well, yeah. so you don't have to brake. If we look at the speed they're coming down here, Obviously, it actually looks faster than I was, you know, because obviously I'd heard that it was trimmed a bit. A bit close and yeah, they're going at a good speed. The key is to this, the gaps aren't that big, are they, between? So really, it's uh, hoping that you've not got someone who's going slow in front of you, really. You want to make yeah. sure that well, you're going to get yeah. some speed as you come down. Uh, but Zip World's quite strange because it's split off into lots of different areas. Not too far away from here, I think it's about 15 miles down the road, you've got the quarry and that's got uh, all the big zip wires and everything. Uh, you've got bounce below. Here you've also got like a, I think, what do they call it? Safari, is it they call it? Zip Safari or something like that, which goes all the way through the I trees and all the zip wires. Loads of stuff. And we're out in the really wilderness. To me, all these, yeah, you're not all normally all a big fan, are you? Quests and stuff. No. I mean, if I wanted to climb a tree, I'd just climb a tree outside my home. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, this looks awesome. It's actually. So, why would I want to pay twenty quid to climb a tree? I mean, just, it's a good point. Just don't really Martin, get the point. What you feel. What's that? <laughs> there we are. Let's get used to the camera. It, do, it, says, it says six minutes to get round, but people are coming back within like. Two I think that's if you're going really, really slow. Oh, yeah. Like, you want to make sure that uh, we're not behind these, Martin, else we're going to be going really slow. I, don't yeah. know. <laughs> I won't be using the brake. Oh, that's all right then. All right, let's go and have a little look, show you some shots. Here we are at Zip World in for Forest. I don't know why they add the extra F. And Sean and Charlotte are just waiting to get on. On Martin Cam on Theme Park Worldwide. And here Sean goes up the lift hill. There he is. Here I go. First time then on the forest coaster. Bye, Charlotte. <laughs> Off we go on the lift hill. And take us all the way up, we get to see it on the side. Whee! Martin and Leo there over at the side. And up the lift there we go. Got some really nice views. Oh, here we go. I like how it's got it on the trees at the side as well, saying 50 metres. I can hear Charlotte screaming behind. I've always wanted to do one of these. I'd love to go and explore more of Europe and do some of the alpine coasters out there. It looks so good. Some people look a bit slow coming down there. That's the worst thing with these, you want to make sure the gaps are, are quite big really. Like he's had to slow down there, that's not too good. Oh, there we go, it's top of the left there I think. Hopefully this person in front is going to go nice and fast. Can hope. Yeah, he's going fast, that's what we want. Here we go. <laughs> oh no, oh another left hill. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Keeps going. Hello. <laughs> God, this is surprised how long the left hill is actually. Wow, I didn't realise. I can hear Charlotte behind, so she didn't realise it went all the way up here. Are you alright, Charlotte? 
Oh, there we go. Look at this. Oh, wow. I'll show you some shots of that. Yeah. <laughs> some people are getting so slow. The good thing with this, you don't have to break. The advice is that you do break, but you don't have to. It's not like a bobsleigh where you're going to fall off. If you don't break, oh, she's doing a POV there. Whee! Handheld POV. Surely we've got to be near the top now. Doom, doom. Imagine having a mansion or something where you could build one of these. Still going. It's a long lift <laughs> Oh my god. Let's keep going up. Doo, doo, doo. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting the lift hill to be quite this long. Bear in mind, I've not really watched a full POV of it. Not with all the lift hill included anyway. Definitely get yourself out here though. It's really nice and chill that he's going fast. That's what we want. If everybody goes fast in front now, hopefully, I'll get some good speed up. That's the worst thing, I just don't want to be slowed down. Surely this is going to be the first drop off the top of here now. Here we go, yeah, we've got a CCTV camera in front. Here we go. And a bit of spacing going on there, so she's going, that's it. Right, that's it, we're off. This is where we stop, I think, they said. A little sensor. There we go. Bye bye. Let's go. Alpine coaster. The forest coaster at Zip World. Got some good speed already. <laughs> That's what we want. It says brake, but we'll just ignore that sign. You can feel a little bit of magnetic braking actually, even though I'm not braking at all. On the corners, you can feel it slightly. Oh, but out of control. That's what we want. Air time, whee! Oh, we actually got some there as well. Ah, here we go, she's going quite slow in front. You can tell there's like little sensors on the front, so if we slow down a bit, let her get ahead. There we go. There's a little sensor on the front. That's it. This would be great if there was no one else in front. I think that's what's really slowing this down, unfortunately. There needs to be less carts on, I think, with this one. There we go. Try and get a bit of speed up now. There we go. Whoop. It's good, but there's too, there's too many cars on. You get too close to the one in front, that's the problem with it. Too much traffic. Too much traffic, yeah. No braking. Huh? <laughs> Here he comes. <laughs> Down the hill to the finish line. <laughs> Good. Charlie, you could hear you from all the way up there. Too many cars on. <laughs> you get too close to the one in front, that's the problem with it. Too much traffic. Too much traffic, yeah. No braking. I had no one in front of me. <laughs> Hashtag no braking. That was so good. I need to give that another run. So far, slightly disappointed with that. I think there's way too many cars on. I think there's 26 cars or something like that. It just felt like the gaps were nowhere near big enough. And there must be like a sensor on the front of each one. And obviously I was coming around the corner just getting some good speed and then I hit the sensor and slowed down a little bit. So hopefully on the other goes, we have to get a bit more speed. But anyway, it's your it turn now. Like maybe on a quieter today though to take some cars mm. off. And, uh, well, they were just taking some cars off just to. to believe. So oh. hopefully right. that'll improve. I mean, Charlotte was probably all right because, yeah, yeah, because I was going really fast, obviously. I was way in front, but because the lady in front of me was going a little bit slow, um, so I hope we get some better runs on the next one. Anyway, you'll go now. Are you I'll show you some this? shots of uh, Martin and Leah coming down on Come this Come on, one. you'll like it. You'll enjoy it. Q line that way. Enjoy, thank you. Good to see they also think that there's too many cars on. They've literally just taken one off there. So hopefully for my second ride, won't get as close to the other cars. Here comes Leah. Hey. Have a good time. <laughs> Up she goes. Up the three minute long lift, Dill.
Martin's having his safety brief in there. So with this one, you push the bars forward to go forwards, pull them back to break. Hopefully we won't see any breaking from Martin. Have a nice ride. Hey. Not the go. To the top of the forest. So that lifter, when we went up, as you saw from the footage, it sort of curved round at the top. And then we ended up, I reckon, somewhere up there was the top of the hill. I mean, I did enjoy it. I was just too close. I mean, how, how was your Mine ride? It was fine, because I didn't see anyone. It's just, it felt like I was going to come off the track, because it was quite jolty on the corners. Yeah. Yeah. But was your, you didn't break at all then? The auto brake didn't no, come on either. I didn't no. have auto See, obviously, yeah. there's some sort of sensor, obviously, for safety reasons on the front and on the back. And mine just kept breaking, especially towards the end, as you saw from the footage. But I'll give it another go and see what it's like. Let's go and see these come down, shall yeah. we? Here comes Leah, followed by Martin. Leah's got a bit of heavy braking going on there. This comes around this final corner. Martin's closely up the rear. <laughs> That's it, Leah's got some speed. Hey! Oh my God. <laughs> there we are, you had a massive gap in front of you as well. Oh. I couldn't go very fast, because otherwise I was gonna... Oh. How was it? Brilliant, yes. it's quite long. Here she comes, the little giggler. How was it, Leah? You enjoyed it? You see, I yeah, said she would. there you That's go. I told she you. Had to. I broke straight away. Yeah, I, I saw you coming around a bit slow. We heard some screams at the top. Was it you or not? She does this. did hear some yeah. screams. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there was some screaming. I mean, like, she does this with, like, everything that we go on. I mean, like, she <laughs> says, oh, my God, oh, my God, I don't want to have a go. And she has a hit. But you've done a skydive. I know. That's crazy. You've done a skydive. That's more than any of us have ever done. It's a bigger thrill than even I've ever had, that is. She but feels hey. not scared about doing a skydive, and yet she feels scared about... It's quite this. sort of deceiving, isn't it, when you stand here? You think it's just going up to the top and then you're coming yeah, down. I know, I know. You turn the corner, it's like, hey! <laughs> another two miles up the lift hill, you know. <laughs> hopefully with this one, they've took some cars off now. About five or six yeah. cars have come off, so hopefully I'll get a better run. I think I was just a bit unimpressed, the fact that the woman in front was going so slow. In terms of a layout, it does look really, really good. Uh, so hopefully I'll go around again now, take you on board for the ride, and hopefully be a bit quicker this time. <laughs> Right, so here we go, ride number two. Charlotte's in front of me this time. See you later. <laughs> Hopefully, gonna get a bit more speed on this one. As Charlotte gets going at full pelt, that's it. The people in front of her look like they were going at a decent speed, so hopefully, shouldn't build up this one. That's it. There we go, let Charlotte go ahead a bit. Let's go. Oh. So I can say, push down on those if you don't want to break at all. Last, like I say, last time we got the magnetic braking taking place. That's it. That's what we want. Also, with nothing to hold us up, we shouldn't get any of the... We still get a bit of auto braking, but we won't get any of the brakes in front from other cars. There we go. That's what we want. Much better. Airtime, yes. Loads better. <laughs> There we go. Much better. Still got a bit of auto braking, but it's not too bad. There we go. Woo! Loads better. That was better. There we go. Loads better. Yeah. Here comes Martin for his second go. Up he goes on the left hill. Whee! Who's he waving at? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what he's saying. Up he goes. Quite a fast lift hill, actually. Let's just hope that he's got no one in front of him slowing him down. Just had my second go on it, and it was really, really good. Obviously, you can tell that. Uh, it is trim still on the corners, even when there's nothing in front, it does slow down on the corners, which is a shame. 
Uh, well, that was a lot better ride. There you go. You see how fast she's coming down. Yeah, that's good. That's how to ride it. But uh, yeah, you can definitely tell that it is slowed down on some of the corners. But it's really, really good fun, really enjoyable. Uh, and there was no one slowing me down that time. I did my little bit of advice for you with this one. You're not really supposed to. But if you brake right at the top just before you set off, uh, and then it'll make sure there is definitely a big gap in front so you don't catch up with anybody else. So if you've got people going down slow, like this lady just here, slows down everything you see, and then this person here ends up having to slow down, and then just backs up. But yeah, overall, really, really good. Not quite as good as I was expecting, I don't think, uh, but it was still really good. I'm glad we've come down here to give it a go. Like I say, £20 for three rides. It's just a shame that it slows down them corners. I mean, some of them ones abroad look crazy, and I know that our health and safety and stuff is a bit more strict in the UK, but I'd love to go to, like, Austria and do some of the ones over there. They do look fantastic. Hello, Tom. Overall, really, really good fun. So this is how they take one of the bobsleighs off. They just lift him up. And off it goes on this system just here. There you go. Hook it on. Connect that underneath. And off it goes on its transfer track. Whee! And push it along. Me and Martin this time. Get yourself clipped in. Standard car seat belt really on this one, isn't it? Yeah, we yeah, got a standard car seat belt. There we are. Give it a bit of a tug, make sure you're in. That's yeah. it. So we've just had the three rides on the Forest Coaster. Like I said earlier on, it's a kilometre long. It opened in May 2017. And you know what? It might have taken us nearly three hours to get here, but it's actually a really, really good experience. I think going up that lift hill and turning the corner and seeing more was a big surprise. I think for all of us, we weren't expecting that uh, from not really watching a full POV. And then my favourite part of that is going up that second part of the lift hill in between the trees, resting your head back, enjoying the atmosphere. I thought it was really, really nice. And then of course, you see all the people coming down the side of the hill as well it was really enjoyable but I can't help but feel that the fact that it's got the magnetic braking it really does take away from it and I really enjoyed it It was worth coming to do I haven't come off and felt like oh my god you know I need to get around it again but it was worth coming to see and it was really enjoyable in terms of operations I think there's way too many on I think there was 26 just when I asked up there there's 26 in total what they've got and there must be about, what, 17 or 18 of them on now. It just felt like that even though it's got no queue or a five minute queue, they had a bit too many uh, of the bobsleighs actually on there. But don't get me wrong, it was very enjoyable. And let's uh, see what these guys thought. I mean, what did you think, Martin? Oh, it was worth coming. <laughs> it was worth coming, but yeah, um, a bit like what Sean said, really. Um, I, don't like over the here. I don't like I don't like, they trim it way too much. Um, <laughs> I love the setting, up the lift hill, the through the trees, it looks beautiful, it just needs a bit of audio next door to it. I mean, a little tip, hold yourself back at the very top, hold yourself for ages, just make yourself stall for like ages at the yeah. very top for a nice straight run down and then you can just go full speed. And off you go. Straight down the hill. <laughs> and that is the yeah. that is the best thing to do. What well, do you think, that. Leah? You got anything to add to that? No. Having the giggles over there. Yeah. But it's still She's a bit shy, aren't you? A bit shy. Yeah. yeah. But you enjoyed it, didn't you? You had some speed. Yeah, but me and Charlotte crashed. Yeah. I know, yeah, yeah. That should not have happened, I don't think. <laughs> a collision. Yeah, a little collision at the top. Yeah, yeah, I don't think that should have happened. No, no, exactly. No, well, they've got sensors yeah. to stop oh, that no. from happening. But, but uh, yeah, how was it, Charlotte? I agree with Martin. 
But I just think there's way too many cars on. Yeah. It's just, if you've got somebody slow in front of you for three goes, then it's a bit like... It is bad, but I say that, in my final two goes that yeah. I had just, there was no one in front and it was still going slow. Yeah. It's just, it is it trimmed. Sense. I mean, maybe if you try braking a little bit on some of the corners, it might not trim it as much. Maybe because if you don't brake, it does trim it more so if you do break a little bit maybe on some of the corners you might keep a bit more speed up i don't know we only got three goes so i, I wanted to go full some pelt. cars have more friction than others mm. so i think it yeah. is very much luck what sort of car that you get because obviously you can get a car Must with not much friction at all <laughs> and you can get a nice straight run down and it doesn't really break that much on the corners at all mm. whereas you can get some cars that break far too much on the corners on its own yeah, I'd agree. Yeah, and, and you've got your entirely. hands fully down the whole way, but it still it breaks on the corners. But maybe, like you say, if you break a little bit on the corner, you might get a bit more speed potentially. Because obviously, if, if, you see what I mean? Like maybe an auto brake kicks in, so yeah. to speak, where if you're not braking at all, it, it kicks it right in. Whereas if you do brake at least a little bit, then it thinks, all oh, right, yeah, they are braking, and it keeps the speed up. I don't know how these things work. It was probably enjoyable. The, I'm glad we came to see it's it. It's probably but... the um, Great British Health and Safety for you, isn't it? Probably. <laughs> but, uh, probably. That's what ruined the go. The location, the though. Health and safety. The location of this is gorgeous, <laughs> and obviously we're not going to do the zip lines and stuff today. Uh, but this looks brilliant. The zip safari all the way through here, and what a beautiful, well, what a beautiful country Wales is. But of course, seeing all this round here uh, is really nice, and I think. The sirens in the background, you know, it's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, what are you doing down there? Um, I don't know. Look at your Disney shoes, what a mess. I oh, know, they're, they're a little muddy. They're a disgrace. But don't worry, there's more to come because we're going down to, I can't even say it, like. Land, Land Dudno. Land Dudno. Where we're going to go and do a bobsleigh. Seaside town, that one, but, <laughs> we've got uh, a bobsleigh down the road, so we're going to go and check that one out. But yeah, overall, really good. Get yourself down here and give it a go. So we've come here to John Nike, and not the John Nike in Swaddling Coast. Uh, on old, the roof yeah, on the roof there, a little mini golf. Yeah, we've come here to ride on the toboggan. So obviously we've got one of these in Swaddling Coast. It's actually owned by the same company, John Nike. He owns a few of these across the country. Not like this little bobsleigh just here, except this has got much nicer views than the one over in Swaddling Coast. Look at this, about a 45 minute drive then with traffic from Zip World. Look at that, really, really nice. Bit of a queue for it though, we've got on down the bottom and go up the hill, all the way down the side there. And then it comes all the way down this side here. Six pound for two rides, this one. Mm. Not too bad. bad, reasonable, yeah, reasonable. Three pound a go. Yeah, three pound a slide, that's not too bad at all. So we'll head down to the bottom and uh, show you some shots. The girls aren't coming on this one. I don't want to give it a go, shots. really. Yeah, got some shots. Let's go. So here we are then, climbing up the lift hill on the toboggan, the crest to run. Really nice scenery, all the rocks all on the side and all the cliffs. Very, very nice. Lots to do around here. There's even a cable car nearby as well. Very, very nice. So we'll make our way up to the top. Hopefully this bloke in front's going to go quite fast so we don't have any hold-ups. You get some good speed up on these. Obviously, if you want to brake, you hold it up. Otherwise, hold it all the way down. And we get some good speed. Here we go. It's a good speed up already. Three. Oh my god. <laughs> you have to break on this one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. 
good that is, fast. Your ride on the crest to run, yeah, good. nice that, that was. was. Yeah. Really good. You get some good speed. I mean, on that one, the first time I came down, as you saw from the footage, I had to break a little bit at the top because there was a corner that was actually really tight on that. I thought I was going to get whacked off it, and then when I came down this side just here, I got to about the bridge just here, and then there was a bloke on the corner, tried to slow down quite a bit. I thought that was really good. I like that, yeah. Yeah, what I liked about that as well, really sort of out of control, isn't it? You're in control of, yeah. you know, if you want to go really slow, you can do, but it's a lot better, a bit like this bloke's doing here. You know, out of and control of any braking. At the top of the hill that is uh, spacing you out. Yeah, so yeah. it's spaced out, which is nice because it means that if someone is going nice slow. Yeah, you clear run down, yeah, you do, unlike, yeah. unlike on the. Yeah, yeah, it was, uh, on it was the coast really good. On the forest on. coast, yeah. yeah. Both really good, though. You can easily do them in a day trip, like mine said earlier on. Half an hour to 45 minutes, give or take, with traffic between either of them. And you can come down here and make a day of it. And there's a few other things about, like the cable car, and there's like some trams and stuff. Yeah, it's a general sort of seaside town. I think I have been here as a kid. I do remember coming around. I've definitely not done this before. I've never seen this, but in terms of land, land under, I think I have been here before. It's a pretty country, yeah, Wales. Seems, yeah, definitely. Really nice. And it definitely has some character to it. It reminds me of being in Hong Kong, list, yeah. it? like Ocean Park. Hair razor, b &M, flawless, just up there on the hillside. There's a nice little Welsh actual village and it's called um, Port Mirian and it's actually themed to Italy and the whole village is themed to Italy. So all the houses are actually themed to Italy. Port Mirian in Wales. Haven't Port been Marian. there, but it is on my list. Isn't there some famous character from Port Marion somewhere? In like a film or something? Well, I'm sure there, there is, is a factory in Stoke called Port Mirian and it makes <laughs> Maybe what pot tree? Yeah, so, yeah. No, exactly. like stoking yeah. it got me pot tree. Well, yeah. There we go. That's it. Just wrapping up our little vlog. Hope you've enjoyed it. I mean, it's been really good to do both of these. Like I say, the forest coaster really enjoyable. Would have rushed back to do it again. Definitely not. But but it's well worth coming down here. Make a day of it. Come and do this. Come and do that as well. And uh, yeah, not too bad. I mean, like I said, that was twenty pounds for three rides. This was six pound for two rides. So for twenty six quid, you come out and have a day worth of fun. And obviously, not everything's paid round here. You can walk around, see all the beautiful scenery, and I'm sure the cable car and the trams and stuff don't cost that much either if you want to make a day of it. So thank you very much for watching. Stay out in the summer, isn't it? Yeah, 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 definitely enjoy the summer. The girls didn't come on that one, but you yeah, enjoyed the forest coaster, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, you gave it a good go, and uh, thanks for uh, being in another Theme Park Worldwide vlog. Thank you very much for watching, and that means it's time to... Cue those credits! Yeah! See, see you later, guys! guys. <laughs>